Hey, we're with Todd McFarland at Toy Fair 2019. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? You've got tons of new stuff coming out now. Uh, every and year we try, yeah. An incredible array of action figures. Could you tell us what we've got in store for Movie Maniacs in particular? Movie Maniacs is going to come... Look, at here's, here's what we're going to do. Forget, forget Movie Maniacs. Let's back up a little bit. Okay. We're going to go, like, retro McFarland. All those things that we did years ago when we first came out. Mm -hmm. Tortured Soul. All the stuff we Maniacs, love. Maniacs, Bronze, all the, the twisted See, stuff. See, Gally's jumping around. Right. All the, <laughs> all the twisted... All this stuff. There's this world now, and it's got this thing called the intranet. And on the intranet, if you hit some buttons, you can find it all. And now, <laughs> if the big boys don't want to put it in their stores then we'll just make it and sell it direct to you so we're just going to start doing some of the cool stuff we're going to go back to some of our roots and do not only the movie maniac but all those other brands that we did i mean for all the people that like the dragon we're going to do some cool dragon might not do 20 of them but let's just start the drip and get them to start coming out again you know put one out if you like it i'll do another one and another one and another one so mm -hmm. Yeah, McFarland Classic Retro. We're gonna come. We're gonna come as well as doing some of the big brands that we've got that you see here. So, how does that translate to when you tackle something like DC comic books? Like, do you feel like you want to get a lot of your design in there, or do you want to make them very true to the comic books so that fans are true? Uh, so we just signed a big, you know, our sort of big news, is, you know, with Harry Potter this year, uh, the new license, and uh, and the DC Multiverse. What, what I want to do is all the above. You, you just asked me, what would I want the art to look like? All of it, right? Everything from like a big box thing with a character with a big cape and he's flying and maybe he's exploding something that's going to be a little... That was my first thing. thought when they announced that you had it. Yeah, I need yeah, a yeah, Batman but, with a big spawn right, cape. But, but here's the thing though. <laughs> well, I actually I drew a couple of those yeah, for yeah. Batman year two. Yep. But here's the thing. Those to look cool have to come in a big box at mm -hmm. a higher price. Yeah. And and the retail stores don't necessarily allow those products to go in. Yeah. So but so on one spectrum we're gonna be doing sort of the super geeky collectible well, hyper collectible stuff. And then I'm still gonna do cool stuff in the middle that would be based on what the, it looks like in the movies and what it looks like on TV, maybe even video game. And then there's even the fun stuff that will have I'm hoping, you know, they'll they'll give me the space for stuff that just looks more anime, cartoony, you know, some of the stuff that we've already seen with the Teen Titans and some of the Bruce Tim and then put my own flavor on it so that it still is, it's st both of them are still appealing to the geeks. Mm -hmm. To me, they're all collectibles, they're all premium. Yeah. But depending if you're 7 or 27, you may want this version of Aquaman compared to this version of Aquaman where he's riding a dolphin or something or a shark or something, right? Mm -hmm. So, because that's going to be a little more spendy. I still have to be aware that people like these characters that may just want something that has a bit of a fun factor to it instead of a hyper detail factor. So, Aquaman to me is this big and I can go all the way from this spectrum to this spectrum, but even more so, the DC multiverse is giant, right? Yeah. And I and just... I'm just going to play in the pool of the DC Multiverse with as many visual looks as the retailers and Warner Brothers is, are, will allow me to do. I'm not, I'm not going to say I only, I'm only going to do this one style. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I want to come out with three or four different looks, three gotcha. or four different styles. There was, there was mention of uh, vehicles and accessory packs, kind of like what you're doing with Fortnite. Is that going to be folded into DC as well? Uh, look, at, here's, here's what the Warner Brothers people have said to me, which is awesome. Todd? If you can think it, bring it to us. We're not going to say yes to everything, but bring it to us. So, so what that tells me is that I have, they haven't said no yet. And so they're saying, if you've got a crazy idea, you've got a crazy look, you've got a crazy design, bring it. Bring whatever you want to bring. We'll tell you whether we're going to either approve it, we like it, or whether it's even within your contract. Mm -hmm. but, don't, but don't stop yourself creatively by saying, oh, I've got to just sort of do this one little sort of walk in this one little style. So mm -hmm. uh, all the above, if you're going to jump into a brand that big, then to me, you got to think big and we're, and we're going to come at it big. Gotcha. Since since Warner Brothers is also Harry Potter, did they yeah. give you that leeway as well to go as deep with the characters and that world? Uh, each contract is slightly different. Um, and, and because, you know, obviously uh, Ms. Rowling, has a lot of control over the look of what happens in there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're, they're, that contract isn't 
quite as uh, free ranging as uh, I guess you would say. Okay. But still, but still, I get I got access to all the movies. I mean, the Wizarding World, right? It's not even Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's all the movies, all it's all the looks of everything that you can do, mm -hmm. and anything we can come up with. And, they, and again, it doesn't hurt to put it on paper, send it to them, see if they say yes or no, and if they don't, if they say nah. We don't like it, or you know, you're out of your lane, or it's too expensive, or we don't like the design, or whatever. then you just put pen to paper until you get a yes, and you come up with it. Mm -hmm. So there's there's too many characters for both of these brands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to my grave and only scratch the surface with all of the looks of all of these characters. So mm -hmm. there's plenty. There's like the, the great thing about both of them is that it's not just one figure. There's there's a big giant array of figures and looks and designs and powers and costumes and all this stuff and then combine all that together if you do two and three pack and some of the vehicle stuff what are you talking about it's gonna be a good year it's gonna be a good year sounds we're gonna have, like we're it. Have a good time we're gonna have a good time <laughs> could you show us the one thing here that you're most proud of is there like one thing in particular that when you made it and you were done with it you were like holy crap this is beautiful um, i know you're a fan of this stuff as well so it must excite you when you come out with something yeah, so great yeah 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 you know what it's interesting it's an interesting question because people have asked me that before like you got a favorite uh toy you've ever made not really but I, I i look at the world probably different than other people i'm sure people have favorite characters favorite toys and what 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 i look at is that all, let, let's say i find that we did some new articulation and it works yeah then I go, oh my God, we should try that on another figure, right? Or if somebody does something really cool with hair, then I go, oh my gosh, we should start doing that with other figures. Mm -hmm. So I actually look at a figure and then start dissecting it. And I, I, you know, I might not look at a figure and say, oh, it's perfect from head to toe, but there might be two things that I know that I can move forward, mm -hmm. right? So to me, the, the look of our company's figures are a culmination of like bits and pieces of what we did that we found that we could replicate tens of thousands of times at a factory mm -hmm. and go, oh my gosh, we can get that detail. We can do that kind of a paint job. We can add that little clear thing. You know, let's make a note because if we ever come back to it, then let's make sure that we keep doing it. So to me, each one of the licenses also has a different look to it. So if I'm doing like, you know, One Punch Man, I'm not trying to do hyperkinetic reality that I may be doing on the Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. So, the, so the, the the task, the the rules that we're playing with, we're not trying to artistically accomplish the exact same thing. They should just both be true to the license, and anybody that's a fan of it goes, "Oh my God, that's pretty cool!" And it's a fair price, and it's a quality item. Mm -hmm. Done, done. Those three things will basically sell you toys all day long. Perfect. Thank you for your time, man. Sure. Great to see you. Yeah.